we talked, you were talking a little bit before about the consolidation of Brighton and Hilltop or the proposed consolidation. And there's also been talk of renovating. Do you support the consolidation of those two schools, the two elementary schools, or, um, or do you think it would be better to renovate them and uh, why or why not? And we'll start with Joshua. So I was the first one to come out and say I like the small school field. So I was not for consolidation. I will gladly support it, but it's got to be proven, you know, one or the other. You know, are we better off in the long run by renovating these schools? Um, did we learn from things that came up with our high school that maybe it doesn't pay to renovate them? Um, or are we better off with consolidation? And that's what, you know, we have a committee right now of community members. We have our administration on that committee as well as an architect that we hired. And that's what's going to be presented on November 16th. And at that time, you know, if it makes sense, I'll gladly support it. But there was just way too much that wasn't brought up in that last, you know, presentation to us when they said it was a $20 million project. Mm. There was no... We don't know what we would get for the Bryden land or what we would do with it. There was no talk about uh, traffic issues on Fairmount. If all of a sudden we're consolidating two additional schools into Fairmount, is that going to affect traffic? So there are a lot of, a lot of things that still need to be discussed before we can make a decision um, that big for our community. Uh, Steve? About four years ago when I ran, I was all in favor of the consolidation. And in fact, the newspaper credits me with the idea of the consolidation. I don't believe it was my idea, but they still gave me credit for the idea. I'm still in favor of the consolidation, and I'll tell you why. Last night, my wife was a volunteers with the PTO, and she was selling membership at Hilltop School. It was 80 some odd degrees out last night. Hilltop School is not air conditioned. Bryden School is not air conditioned. To air condition them would mean replacing all the wiring in the building. Uh, we learned from the high school renovation project that when you open up walls of old buildings, you have no idea what's in there. There's no plans for these buildings. And so as good a job as they did on the high school renovation, there were unexpected things that we discovered when we opened up walls. I have to believe that it would be cheaper to build a single structure on the Fairmount property adjacent to the Fairmount school than it would be to renovate the two school buildings, Bryden and Hilltop. In addition, there's the question of where do we put our Bryden and Hilltop students when we're doing this renovation. The renovation can't be done over a summer. It's going to have to be far more extensive than that. So where are we going to put the students while we're doing that? Uh, and if we're doing the renovation and the students, let's say they're in portable classrooms, what's that going to do for a few years to people that are looking at moving into the Beechwood community? Are you going to say, well, I'll move here. The schools are great, but for a year or two, my kids are going to be in a portable classroom? If we can do the renovation at Fairmount, we could do that while school is open and then open up a new building without interrupting the children's education at any point. Okay, thanks. Uh, Josh, do you have anything to add to that? I, I do, and it goes back to, you know, needing to know all the facts. You know, our high school renovation, and this goes back to our amazing treasure, you know, was a $36 million project. We have debt from a uh, middle school so right now we still have a lot of debt out there, but we've refinanced a lot of those debts to cut down the payback period. So we're saving taxpayers money on those. Mm -hmm. But if we go and add another 20 million, or if this becomes more than 20 million, which is what I had thought initially at that presentation, you know, if this becomes another 30 or $40 million project, you know, we have to be careful of what is our debt limit and, you know, how much is this going to affect the tech taxpayers.